Hello there and welcome back. Okay, so we need to do some quick colouring in on the water. So for that I'm going to press the uh, M button, which should, with any luck, bring up our material editor one day. Except I possibly remapped it, I don't know, a uh, blooming thing. So let's just do it the old-fashioned way and press that button. Right, and what I need to do is grab a bit of water, so I'm just going to grab this material here. Click it from standard, and I want to get some water. So there's some Autodesk water there. Click OK. And whilst I'm thinking about it, I should probably save this again. Because you know what Autodesk's like. Well, not Autodesk, but you know. Right, we want generic stream slash river, or generic pond lake. We'll have a pond and lake. Colour, generic pond lake. There we go. That should do fine. Turn on the... Uh, sorry, turn off the box there. Now I need to stick some lighting in this scene, because the only lighting we have at the moment is from the um, little lights we pushed into this. So, what I need to do is just go to a lighting system. Again, throw my daylight on. I'm not going to spend hours and hours working this out. Just stick it into a manual. And just grab this. Bring it down like that. Make sure my light type's all set up as directional and so on. Okay. And this isn't supposed to be a photo accurate render. This is a render basically for a client to look at and go, yeah, I like that, or no, I don't like that. And then make you redo it. When it comes to the actual photorealistic stuff, you'll have more than enough chance to do that once you uh, move this over here. Once you've um, basically finished your model completely and it's been signed off, this is the previous, obviously. So let's just zoom in on this. There we go. And if I just quickly hit F9 just to see what's happening. It's going to take it a few moments to compute its final gather points. So I've got it on a fairly low setting. However, we do have these trees and things in the scene now. So let's give it a couple of moments. Those are quite bare, those pine trees, aren't they? I think I might add a few more pine trees just to kind of thicken that out a bit. It depends what it's going to do, really, to the render time, though. I'm drinking coffee while this is happening. I'm just going to pause it. Okay, as we can see, that's uh, rendered out now and worked. I mean, it's fairly plain Jane, and we could definitely do with more trees, however. Okay, just going to close that off. don't know why Rotator decided not to work the other moment. Let's try and get this into a fairly good position here for a nice render. I'm going to go into my perspective key and just click Show Safe Frames. That way I can see exactly what's going to render and what isn't. Because I want to just move this around a bit. Like so. And this tree here is really hiding what's going on over there in my opinion. So I'm going to move it over there to this one. And this one's hiding the corner of the block as well. So I'll move it here in front of the car park, like that. It's a shame we don't have any AEC cars, they always come in quite useful for this kind of thing. Unfortunately I think all we've got is AEC walls, but never mind. We could stick a quick fence along here if you really wanted to, but it's not really worth the effort. Alright, let's just... Uh,
bring this down a little bit more that way we've got these in the background just above the eye height and just bring that over to there so we can see both the blocks there we go okay now let's go into our render settings so I'm just going to hit F10 here's our render settings here and I'm going to increase the size of our output file so at the minute it's 800 by 600 um, I want to lock my image aspect ratio to 1.33 recurring but I'm going to change this to 3200 for the width by 2400 for the height that's going to obviously take us a little while I'm going to change my precision to a minimum of 1 with a maximum of 16 um, I'm going to change this to a uh, Mitchell for my filter and for my soft shadows I'm just going to multiply them by 2 just to make them slightly nicer looking under indirect illumination I'm going to change this to medium so that's going to take a while and then I'm going to let it process for a while so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit render and then when we come back I'm going to have my render on screen and we're going to move to the next part